Okay, I got some much better software to record these tutorials with now. Don't ever use record my desktop. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to be explaining today what the innate uh, variable called name represents and how, it, how, you, how you use it. So what I did is I put together a little cheat sheet, if you will, here. And so when you see, I'll show you, when you see this line right here in a file, what it's basically trying to find out is, is the script that's running, was it run directly? Is it the main script or was it imported? Right? So we go over here and we look. We can import. When we put import first, that's actually a file name. You just leave off the pi. As you can see here, we got first.py. When we import that, we want to see is this file that's running right now the main loop or is it imported? Okay, so let me go back to the cheat sheet here. So name represents the script name if we imported it. Otherwise, it, if we didn't import it and it was the main module and we executed it to begin with, then it's main. So some examples. we got two Python scripts here. One's called first.py. The other one's called second.py. First.py, when ran first, the name is going to represent main. Second.py, when ran first, the name is going to represent main. Whichever is run first gets the name main. First.py, when imported from second.py, the name would be first. Second.py, when imported from first.py, the name would be second. If we import it, it's not the main module, then it just gets the name of the file name without the .py. It leaves off the .py. So let's see this in action. Let's see, on first.py. Run directly means it equals main. This is being echoed to the terminal via first.py because first.py was ran directly. Now let's go look at the script first.py. What it's going to do is, if it was run first, which is what this says here, this basically translates to if this script is run first, then it's going to tell us it was run directly, and that means it equals main. And we just saw that here. Otherwise, it would print imported first.py from another script. This is being echoed to the terminal after running second.py, which imported first.py, which is the script we're looking at now. So then the variable name represents, it'll, it'll, it'll show up as first.py, because that's what that represents here for first.py. And then we're going to run a function called function, and this is just going to print out at function. Now you see how all this was in the script, but it didn't show up. That's because it checked to see if this was run first, and it was, so it just went to this. Now we're going to get, we're going to import it over here from second.py. We're going to import first, and it's going to see that it, it, this wasn't run first, and it's going to go to this else command here. And that's when we're going to see all this for confirmation. So now we can go in here. We can go python second.py. Imported first.py from another script. This is being echoed to the terminal after running second.py, which imported first.py. The name variable this time for first for first.py. Since this module is imported, we will run the function. And then we get the confirmation right here that we called the function, it ran the function, and it printed at function. And it did that because it checked the name and it saw that it wasn't main, so it went down here to else and it did all this and then ran that function. So a way you could use this is say you have a remote, remote administration tool, a server, and you want to uh, say you import uh, an SMTP server that you want to use. Go ahead and load that in there. Uh, the SMTP server checks to see if it was ran first or if it was imported. If it was imported, it goes through a loop until it waits from a signal from the other from the server. The signal could be it waits to see if a file exists. When the file exists, it pulls the settings out of that file and then it executes uh, an email as requested. So it's a way of telling which script is the main script, which scripts are imported, um, and then what to do in those events. Right. So I hope that made sense. Um, you know, if you found this tutorial helpful, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, 
if you have any questions below, let me know. Anything I can clarify. I, I tried to break it down. Um, it, you know, if you look here, we see name variable equals main for second dot pi because that's the one we ran first. So just to reiterate and kind of clear it up, we ran second dot pi first this time. So the name for it is main. And the name for first this time is first because we imported it. It wasn't the main module. Okay, so I hope that this video, this tutorial was helpful. And it might not seem like there's any use for this right now, but I, I promise you, you'll figure. You'll, um, it'll just kind of come to you down the road. When you start learning Python, you just start to realize like all these neat little things you can do. It's pretty cool. So anyway, thanks guys. I hope you found this video helpful. And again, as always, thank you for watching.